plaintiff, Jean Johnson, and his wife, Kalanda, say they moved into Jean's grandmother's home after she passed away. And soon after, the defendant, Jean's aunt, moved in with them. Jean claims his aunt has been trying to get them out of the house. And she not only called the police on them 23 times in one month, but she also falsely accused them of poisoning her. So they're suing. Defendant Lisa Johnson insists Kalanda was poisoning her by putting toilet water in her food. And as a result, she was in the hospital for two weeks. Lisa's countersuing for defamation and emotional distress. Let's start with you all. Okay, uh, Your Honor, I've just recently moved back to California. I've been living in Texas for the past 16 years. And my grandmother had passed away and left the family home. Well, I was living in the home and got a call from another aunt of mine asking me if my aunt over here can, you know, come cohabitate with us. Well, what I didn't know was there was an issue with her and my mother over the house. So when my mother died, she moved in and systematically proceeded to start trying to push us out of the home because she wanted to be the sole occupant of the house. So in the process of doing that, she constantly called the police on me um, one 23 time, times 23 in times in one, one month. month, calling the police, giving false statements, saying people are doing things to her. And the thing that really just put the icing on the cake was she sent a service processor to my other grandmother's house saying that I poisoned her food with toilet water vacuum and cleaner vacuum cleaner dust, dust maggots, and maggots and, and I'm a certified uh, nurse's assistant. I'm registered with the state of California. If that TRO, if the judge that heard the case, you know, would have found that to be true, order. I would have, yeah, with the restraining, I would have lost my license. And what's so bad about it, Judge Mathis, after we got out of court, the, the judge dismissed it. The next day, I was frying chicken for my husband. Guess and he who... started croaking. <laughs> guess <laughs> who... Well, you did poison the woman. If he started... <laughs> well, guess what happened? I'm a good cook. She comes down the hall, asks me what was I cooking. I cook real good fried chicken. And I said, chicken. She said, can I have some? Well, I said, yes. Okay, if I'm well, poisoning her... Well, if it's that her... good, it's, it's worth <laughs> risking your life for. Right? <laughs> Go ahead. And she ate my chicken, and this was the day after we done been to court. And she's still here. Let me hear from her. <laughs> Ma'am? They were putting... Uh, they, or, or more specifically, possibly, uh, Kalanda was putting toilet water in the food. And uh, I was very sick. I'm diabetic. How did you find they were putting toilet water in your food? Uh, she threatened me in the kitchen and wanted No, I water. didn't, Hold Lisa. ma'am. thing that really just put the icing on the cake was she sent a service processor to my other grandmother's house saying that I poisoned her food with toilet water vacuum and cleaner vacuum cleaner dust. dust. Plaintiff Gene Johnson and his wife, Kalanda, are suing Gene's aunt who claims Kalanda tried to poison her by putting toilet water in her food. You say she told you she wouldn't do that? Uh-huh. And I... you believe she did? Yes, I do. Okay. Now, my symptoms, uh, of course, back that up. And uh, I was in the hospital for 20 days, I mean, for uh, 14 days, two weeks. And I'd been for, in the hospital. For eating toilet water in your food? Uh, from having uncontrolled vomiting and diarrhea. Now, do you have your hospital or your doctor's report? I have only a, I have only a letter from my doctor because yeah, he told that me should do, telling you yeah. telling me what the symptoms or what right. occurred. Right, he, he told me not to give up my HIPAA rights, but he did want you to understand he was a gastroenterologist that they had to call mm -hmm. in a specialist, and mm -hmm. he did want you to understand what the symptoms were. Good, sure. I have okay. a gastroenterologist that I deal with regularly, okay. so I'll know. I'll have a little insight here. Mm -hmm. All right. You have a chronic condition, like Crohn's syndrome and those type of things, because that's the medicine he prescribed. I don't have a diagnosis of a chronic... I understand. Let's move past that. You don't have proof that toilet water kept you in the hospital 14 days. We're not dealing with this medical issue about you thinking or alleging you were poisoned. Uh, who did she tell that to? Well, she told because that... Because depending on who she told, that is slander. She, 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 she went to my sister's job mm -hmm. and told my sister, my brother... I have a statement from my sister. We have a She told record. anybody who would listen. Did it affect and, your uh, reputation? Your Honor, before that happened, 
I was, me and my cousins and family was going out having a good time. When she sent the service processor to my other grandmother's house, my aunt got the paper. It spread it around the family like wildfire. The poison part. Mm -hmm. the po the, Is that in the service yes. process? And, and what happened was now, all of a sudden, now remember, I've been in Texas for the past 16 years. So the family really don't know me, like, you know, seeing me every day. So when they heard that, Dad, no they scared you to tamper with yeah. their food. You know, no, no more family. Say, here comes right. Mr. Poison. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him in. <laughs> Not while we eat. But, Your Honor, it's worse than that because now I got a baby sister that won't even answer none of my calls. I have other relatives that, oh, man, we know you ain't did that, but I'm not in none of the pictures on Facebook. You know, my, <laughs> my uh, sister had a birthday party. My father's there. All my cousins there. My brothers and sisters is there. I found out about it on Facebook. Now, you know how hurtful that is? And then the embarrassment of the shame of having to stand up in the courtroom with people who don't even know me and hear her say, they were poisoning my food. So now you got all these people looking at me like, how dare you? What was the final disposition? It got dismissed. It was dismissed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, was it dismissed? Yes. Okay. Why do you think they dismissed it? Well, first of all, Your Honor, uh, he's accusing me of saying that the process server told someone this and told you said someone it, that. Uh, in a legal document. Yeah, so I have a right to go. I have this. a right. Ma'am, 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 no, you don't have a right to lie on a legal document. No, I was not accused of perjury. Okay, uh, but you accused of slander. That. Slander is a lie, ma'am. It's uh, lying. Ma'am, yeah. let's move past this. Now you're trying to be an expert in the law. Over I me. am an expert. Now you think I am you an know, expert I, witness. I understand. You think you know more than me. You're wrong. <laughs> Can we move on to something else, ma'am, other than they were poisoning you? Uh, the else? house is mine, and I pay the mortgage every month and everything else that needs to be paid. I d did not perjure myself at any time. So slander is always the question. I have a right to go into the courtroom. Okay, we're going back into that. Let's get on to the 23 times, ma'am. Did you call the police on 23 times? I called the police maybe Here it is. in, in a particular one okay. month. Yeah. Uh, once or twice. Okay. You say you Here have some. Now, how about period? How, how many times have you called them, period? I don't uh, beyond know. Beyond a month. I don't know. So it could have been. Many, many more. I don't think so, officer. I have too many things. No, to judge, do. judge, <laughs> judge. Uh, yeah, judge. So, Police come to the house for more than one reason. Ma'am, I'm asking you a very specific question. Listen to me carefully. The number of times you have called the police on them. No, I don't remember. Okay, so it could be more than five. Could be more than five. Okay, because what he hands me. One, two, three, four, five, ten, twenty, thirty, <laughs> forty. <laughs> if I, a loose estimate, ma'am, is forty times. Could it be that? Uh, I'm not sure, Your Honor. Okay. All right. They've lived there three years. Okay. And you've been there three years as well? Uh, yes. All I right. Hand that to him. Can I take from you? Yes, what were you She on? called the police Two. on the police. <laughs> I'm glad you told me that. I'm going to leave her alone. All right. And honor, the police will be driving down the street, and you can still see their taillights when she's on the phone calling them right back. And they can oh. turn around and come right back. I, I count okay. 12, Your Honor. Yeah. Twelve here for um, domestic violence. The other ones were suspicious circumstances. Often I'm in the house by myself. Right. I hear a noise. I call the police. <clears throat> How did you find they were putting toilet water in your food? Uh, she threatened me in the kitchen and water. No, I didn't, oh, Lisa. Man. Plaintiff Gene Johnson and his wife Kalanda are suing Gene's aunt, who claims Kalanda tried to poison her by putting toilet water in her food. And your counterclaim for defamation for five thousand dollars. How do they owe you? Uh, how do they owe me? Yes. What? A defamation. Mm -hmm. They don't own the house. Okay. How I is own. How's that defamation, counselor? 
uh, to go out and tell, to tell people you own property you don't own mm -hmm. and that somebody is bothering you in your own house mm -hmm. when they, it's their house and they're paying all the, okay. the utilities the rent and everything else? Who have they told? How, who have they told? Yes, ma'am. They have told neighbors. They have told the police. Do you police. have the names of the neighbors or any police? Yes, the name. Uh, you know, you uh, call the police a lot. Do you have one report where you told the police that they've lied? And in them? any of those reports, they have told the police that they... Did you bring they... any with you? No, I didn't bring any with me. Okay. Most of your testimony has proven confusing, if not dishonest. So, uh, unless you show me some direct evidence... Uh, I can show you my deed. Word. Yeah. Okay. okay, didn't they just tell you they own the house? No, they said well, it's, the, it's the grandmothers and you all went into the house to live. No one has said who owns it. You say you do. Did you get it from the uh, estate or something? They yeah, my grandmother and my mother all right, left a will. Let's uh -huh. see Sir, did you know that? My, yes, he was I'm, shown the will when he started. Let him finish. Did you know my that? My grandmother did leave the will, but... Mm -hmm. Did you She's... know that she had the deed to the property? Did you ever ask her to show you? When I moved in, no, she didn't have the deed. Lisa Johnson, you went and got a mortgage, so she couldn't have gotten a mortgage without a deed. All right. So you want money for him being mistaken about who the owner is? Yes, I also All want right. money because they said, and I called the police times, nothing was going on. She took a bat and she bashed his truck in the front yard. Whose truck? Jean's truck mm -hmm. in the front yard. It was embarrassing to me, mm -hmm. and I was frightened. See, the, the police have been called for more than one thing. you have any proof that it embarrassed <laughs> you? I'm a prominent citizen in the community, and if some woman goes out in the middle, and the car is parked on the lawn and takes a bat and bashes the uh, windshield of the car They'll and think cuts... It's you. And cusses and it's hollers, you? she's on my property. Your Honor, that so they'll think happy. it's you. I, they'll think it's associated with me. Yes, it's a reasonable thought. That's yes, not I'm reasonable. embarrassed. Anybody knows she's not fixing to come outside and hit nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. She won't even just... tow her own groceries out the Honor, car. She claims that she can't even carry a two-liter bottle a of soda, soda. Or a half gallon of milk. So you know she ain't came outside and seen nothing. Nobody... Not, not with no bad. She threw something at me and I ducked <laughs> and it hit my car. But I threw nah, some man out there with a bad and And what did she say to you? She, this is the first. Man, I didn't even know say? she knew about that. Did you speak to them about it? No, I went in my room and locked my door. I was scared. Okay. Oh. And since that time, you've never spoken to them about it? Yes, I did when she took okay, my when? silverware and. When? Uh, when she took your silverware? And my plates uh -huh. and put them out in the backyard uh -huh. with a pit bull. Uh -huh. That's a, another display of anger. I know, but when, how did that get into the conversation? What did you all discuss? Uh, we discussed my plates being back uh -huh. in the backyard, my silverware being in the backyard, mm -hmm. the fact that I own the house, uh -huh. the plates, and the silverware, mm -hmm. and I could not take these displays of violence. I did not want to get involved in their domestic violence and having it put on me. Now, all I have is one incident we're dealing with, ma'am, and that's the evidence that you have that they caused the problem at the house, her acknowledgement that that happened, but he says you never spoke spoke to him about it. We didn't I'm trying to get to whether it, it caused emotional distress. Because if someone is so distressed about something, they certainly mention it to him. So I'm going to dismiss your claim for emotional distress. And this uh, poison is basically a part of a chronic disease, ma'am. I'm very, I'm very, very aware of that medicine. And they provide it for chronic diseases dealing with the colon and the stomach area. So she has defamed you. And I'm going to grant your judgment for $5,000 and dismiss Miss Shores. Have a good day. I feel like finally there's some vindication. You know, that was my main purpose of coming here because once a bad rumor gets out, it's hard to take that back. And I'm hoping, you know, you my mama, sister, I love you, and I'm hoping you do something about that telling the truth thing you got going on. I hope he's out. The sheriff has put a note on the door, and I hope you got whatever it is that you were trying to get out of the family. Get out of the family? Mm. The <laughs> house is mine. <laughs>